Hello, Valorians. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I have a special guest with Mr. Tomas Ostrak. Nice. <laughs> hello, hello, everyone. And today, we're just gonna draw something, talk, and really get to know Tomas and how he decided to create Bay Day. More about the company and what the website is doing and how artists and aspiring comic artists could possibly make a living online. So what inspired this website? What inspired Bay Day? What inspired us is that artists all around the world are currently facing, they're getting poorer, poorer and poorer. Mm. Okay. So we thought we need to do something for that and also we need to think about what could be what could be real digital comic books. The way we used to consume videos and series and shows has uh, changed a lot for uh, oh, the, these last years with Netflix and YouTube, obviously. We used to watch TV, we, just, we used to, to, to buy DVDs, we don't do that anymore for most. Back in the day, VHS, <laughs> oh, that, oh, you guys who were born in 2000 may not know about VHS and mixtapes and... Music changed also, uh, also a lot. We used to buy uh, CDs or... But now we all have a Spotify account or uh, iTunes or th things like that. The only media that didn't change very much is, uh, is still comic books. We still buy books uh, made of paper, cardboard and everything. What we are trying to do with Beide is try to make this digital change happen. Or video games, for example, with Steam and uh, all, the, all, all of these, uh, these sites. What would you say is the best way for someone to join Beide and what, are, what should their expectations be? Uh, what we're trying to do with Beide is to offer aspiring uh, comic book artists or any comic book artists come on our website and use our tools. Basically, Beide is a toolbox that uh, allows you to, of course, publish your art, uh, but also monetize it any, any way you want. You just buy the book or then you do a subscription or if you don't have your book fully done yet or if you want to start a new project, we will also offer you tools to create crowdfunding. Basically, on, on, on Bay Day, you will find anything you need to live from your art totally independently. Uh, the interesting thing is that it, mix, it mixes marketplace and a social network. Okay. So you can, uh, can talk with the, the, the creators directly, you can get feedback as well. Get, get feedbacks, blogging space. Mm. So, you can, uh, so the, the artist can also publish blog notes. But it gives you that as a personal touch. Yeah, to it. Yeah. yeah. And so, so, so the, the, the artist can advertise, okay, I'll be in this festival or in this convention at that time. But the, the readers can as well blogging space where you can, for example, uh, you can become a curator for the site and mm -hmm. recommend this book or this book. So there is a, um, a big social network aspect. It connects the readers and the authors, but it can also connects professionals between them. So for example, uh, Valérie, you want to make your uh, comic books uh, known in France, but you don't have a French translation for your comic book. Mm -hmm. And it would be very important for you to have uh, your book available in French if you want to get in touch with French uh, readers. So what you can do thanks to Bay Day is browse our professional database and get in touch with uh, professional French translators mm -hmm. who can do the, transla the translation for you. And then on each purchase, every time you sell a book in French, there will be, you will give them a, a, a tiny part of these sales to, to, to just as a percentage. A little percentage, yeah. 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 And if you have, uh, for example, uh, another story to tell, but you don't have time to do it, and you need uh, another artist, you can browse our database and find other artists you want to co collaborate with. I wish this was around when I was younger. I remember when I was 11 or 12. For those of you who read manga, you guys will know Tokyo Pop, the publishing company in North America. I wanted to be a manga artist at the time, and I remember I would draw up piles of pages of comic books and try to send them to them and I write down the story all by hand. I did not use a computer at the time so I was writing everything. I printed out the application, I wrote the plot and everything. I never heard back from them and I wish this was 
there for me when I was younger so mm. I can at least try and get feedback and learn my way. I think the greatest fear is having your work taken away on other sites such as being dubbed on YouTube without permission, being monetized without permission, and being reposted to other areas of the website. And a lot of these people, they don't realize that it hurts the artist and it makes them feel like, why should I bother putting my work out there if people are stealing it and not giving proper credit? Because a lot of the times artists spend hours, if not weeks, trying to draw and make an art piece or a story. They think about the plots, they think about how this character would react. It's a lot of investment that people don't realize that people put in comic books. So what would you say is the protection that Big Day can give for comic artists who join this community? Basically, we have tools to avoid this kind of thing because basically the art and the text is separated. So the only way to read the comic books is to read it on Bay Day. Okay. Of course, you can export it to uh, any other website if you want to advertise or on Facebook or, or on YouTube or on Twitter, you can do it. But then you get to have a, a special widget to read the comic books and then it will be count as a view on Bay Day. So it's very, I think it's very a, exclusive. Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a good solution. Okay, so people can access it and read it wherever and yep. they don't have to fear of no. Oh my gosh, someone's going to steal my artwork no, if impossible. I post anywhere. No, it's impossible. Okay. It's impossible. It would be too, di too difficult for them. One of the key elements, the concept of uh, Bay, which is why we called it Bay Day. Imagine Bay as a universe. Mm -hmm. So for example, there would be on Bay Day the Valerie Pierce Bay. This is the Bay where all your comics would be. Your own special universe. Yeah. But what you could do as well is create a common bay where you would put all your comic books together because you are friends or you have an association. That's so fun! And it's like so you get a community where you, and where you can find all your comic books to all of you. So basically you get to think of Bay Day as a, a marketplace for comic books but that works as a social network. So it helps you to monetize your work but also to, to share your work more easily, to get known more easily. What inspired you? Like, did you start out as wanting to be a comic artist and it slowly became into, oh, I actually like animation too, let me try that. Like, how did it all begin for you? What show made you say, I want to try that? Uh, basically, um, uh, me, I, I grew up reading the, the comic books from my dad. My oh. dad is a huge comic book nerd. And so when I was a kid, I was reading comic books all the time and I wanted to create comic books myself. I thought that I wasn't skilled enough to, to do that because when you want to do, when you're young, you think that to create, in order to create comic books, you, you get to have uh, your own style and everything, which is nonsense. In fact, uh, if you want to be a comic book artist, just draw things and you are a and comic practice. book artist. Yes. So, and it's always good to develop your own style as well. Yeah, it's always the, the, good the, to give it your own flair. Style is something that is not you. You don't find your. You don't decide of your style. Style is something that happens because you practice naturally, and it yes. changes throughout the years. Uh, the way I was thinking is like, oh, I got to find my. I got to work and find a, a, a specific style. It was. It was nonsense mm -hmm. because it doesn't exist. I should have just do comic books and then my style would have evo uh, evolved eventually, during, yeah. eventually. Um, I heard of Gobelin School in Paris which is an animation school uh, I did not even know that there was an animation school actually <laughs> so I wow. went there they go, oh okay you can learn to do animation oh great I went there and then I fell in love with animation I've been working in animation for like uh, more than 20 years and now mm. I feel like I need a more personal space to express myself. There's a sense of freedom in the community where anything is possible. Yeah, and I thought of comic books. I had a lot of ideas for new stories, new concepts, but unfortunately it was impossible to do in animation. It would be too expensive. And I realized that it would be too expensive too in comic books because the ideas I had were too, too different from what the market wants now. Because, but I wanted to do something more uh, American, you know, like comic books with a long story, you know. Uh, with like substance. A, uh, yeah, very long story, very mm. huge, but French editors wouldn't allow that in order to be able to create these stories. And that's when I thought about creating Bay Day, mm. trying uh, to create tools so we can do anything we want. 
on Bailey as we are not editors. You can, if you want to create a, a 2,000 pages story, you can do that. You can do anything you want. It's totally creator own oriented. At the beginning, we, we friends and associates, we were creating the tools for us to create our own stories. Mm -hmm. Then we would have opened our website and use these tools to do our web comics. But we want to share it. We want to people to. We thought we had good ideas, really, really the ideas that could change the game. So we thought we got to share it with everybody so we can come together and maybe try to change the face of, uh, of this industry. And I think we got pretty good tools for that. So you can join us. The website per se is called payday.com. Mm. For now, the, the site is, uh, is closed. You can just create an account, but you can't use it for now. We are closed beta. Uh, the official launch will be hopefully in June for the artists. Mm. Then your artists will have a few months to upload their content. For example, you can add uh, translations. So, for example, uh, if you put your comic books with uh, the English, French, Spanish and Portuguese translation, you can reach 2 billion people only with that. So it makes a mm. lot of, of, of potential readers. You can add sounds as well. You can uh, you can dub your own comic books. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. You get well. a, you get the panel, and then you click on the on the panel, and then you can voice the the, the panel. So, okay. So why doing on any social network? You can do everything on Bayday. You know. Well, so, looks like I'll be doing some comic dubs on Bayday. Oh, yeah. oh. So you can find us Bayday.com. You can find us on Twitter. I'm gonna link everything right here, and also in the description below, so you guys can check that out and this is concludes our magical draw with me video featuring tomas ostry i keep saying your name so differently <laughs> no, it's okay don't worry thomas ostrock as i've been calling him for years now it's okay but i love it <laughs> we have drawn i've decided to draw adrian mine is not finished yet she drew so much faster than me I'm used to it because when I'm on a deadline, I'm just like, okay, let me draw. But <laughs> on the iPad, I can like correct any flaws I have. But this is really authentic, live, drawn here. And I will sign this and send it to a special winner here on my channel. Hello! So here's the official giveaway rules to win both artboards hand-drawn and signed by Tomas and me in this video. You must be a subscriber to enter. Make sure to thumbs up and share this video to help give other Miraculars a chance to win this special prize. Follow Bayday on Twitter and Instagram at Bayday Community. Then follow me on Instagram and my new Twitter account at Valerie Pierce. My old account got deleted, so if you followed me before, make sure to follow me again on my new account so I can announce the winner directly. Many people ask why they need a Twitter or Instagram account to enter. The reason is that anyone can easily change their YouTube name and steal the winner's prize, whereas Twitter and Instagram, you can only have one unique username. Use hashtag Miraculous Bay Day with your tweet and RT the video. Leave your Twitter or Instagram username so I know it's you. Then comment below a fictional character that inspired you to pursue your dreams. And lastly, please be sure to put the country that you are located in. Please do not put any private and or sensitive information. Safety first. If you are under the age of 18, you must have parental consent in order to enter this giveaway. By entering, you are hereby legally agreeing that you are either the age of 18 and older or you have your guardian's consent. No exceptions. Please respect the rules. Giveaway will end on August 1st, 2019 at 3 p.m. Pacific Time. Winner will be announced and have 24 hours to respond. Otherwise, it will go to the next runner-up. Also, please note that this video was filmed while I was in Paris and due to me traveling back to America, the corners of the shikishi board has worn out and have slight watermark on one of the drawings, but otherwise everything is still in good condition. Good luck everyone! Yeah, definitely let us know and I will leave all the information in the description as well as in the comments below for you guys to enter. And thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you very much, Beth. Thank you, and I'll see you guys very soon. Make courage for your wings, and I'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.